Hi, great smelling people. Welcome back to Notes from Josephine. If you love perfume, mostly affordable perfume, I say mostly because I'm trying to just inch up a little bit in my perfume collection, include some more expensive stuff once in a while, but for the most part, everything I talk about is affordable and unique and great smelling. Um, it's all we do here is perfume, so thanks for being here. If you haven't yet, it's a perfect time to subscribe, hit the button, hit the bell, and let's get going. The weather is hot here. All of a sudden we're into 90, 95 degree days. Oh my God, no one's ready for that. But I find that my nose, Daphne, is rebelling at sweet perfumes. She's not having it. She doesn't want them. They're not working for her. No. So I've pulled out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten perfumes. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was ten from my collection that are not sweet, and they're the perfumes I'm reaching for most right now. So if, like me, you're sick of the sweet stuff and you need a change, stay tuned. Many of these perfumes you may have seen before in different lists. I wanted to just include what I'm wearing the most right now, what my nose is responding to right now, that the weather is so hot. So where do I want to start? I think I'll start with a couple of soapy-ish perfumes. The first one is very, very, very soapy. This is Warm Cotton by Clean. Oh my God, you guys. If you have not tried this, you just have to. This is mm, laundry detergent and dryer sheets and everything warm and cottony. It's the best. There is nothing else like it. There's a lot of soapy perfumes out there, but only one warm cotton. The great thing about this is that it lasts so long and the sillage is really nice on it and it doesn't necessarily smell like perfume. It smells like you just took your clothes out of a nice hot dryer with a bunch of different dryer sheets after they were washed in snuggle fabric softener, put them on and took off. Now I love that smell. Not too sweet, not too perfumey. Right now, mm, it's perfect. This is Warm Cotton by Clean. The next one is also soapy and a little bit newer to my collection, just a, just a couple of months old. This is Coach, the fragrance. Now this is a rose perfume, a raspberry top note, but it's not sweet. It's not sweet. Um, it's sweet for a minute and then it gets soapy. Um, but it is a great neutral, uh, very unisex in my opinion, take on rose and raspberry. This is a perfume that works best when it's getting warm. It's really a versatile perfume. It goes everywhere, simply everywhere. And it's kind of uh, gender neutral, and I'm into that right now. I'm just not into the girly, sweet, flowery thing. It's not working for me. But this, actually, this is the only, what would be classed as a floral perfume that I have in this list because it's not too sweet. It's not too flowery. It is a little soapy and dry. Mm. And that's what makes it perfect for right now. This is Coach the Fragrance by Coach. Yeah. Okay. Um, next, there is a vetiver fragrance that never fails to impress and fails to fulfill that non-sweet place in me. This is Sycamore by Chanel. If you have smelled this, you know what an absolute beauty it is. God, wow. Green, vetiver, smoky, um, so kind of dark, but green enough that it really works well in the hot weather. I just love, love, love this, and it's classy. Nobody knows what it is because it's not mainstream, it's expensive, it's Chanel, um, but it's not 
pretentious or snobby or formal, I don't think. It could be. This could be a really dressed up perfume, and of course it's absolutely unisex. My husband is hoping to get his hands on this one day. It's gorgeous. Um, mm, it's still the king of vetiver, if, if you ask me. This is Sycamore by Chanel. I've had it in my collection for a long time, and I don't wear it a lot, but right now it's speaking to me. Okay, next is a couple of Azaro perfumes that I actually bought last summer and featured then. I've been wearing the hell out of them this week. They are both amazing. The first is Azaro Shine. They both have bottles just like this. They're meant to be a lighter eau de toilette, um, I think hot weather kind of perfume, and they're just perfect. Okay, where are you, Nozzle? Come on. Now this one, Shine, oh, that's so good. It is citrus and a little bit sandy, like aquatic. Um, it reminds me of Eau de Merveille by Hermes. It's got that sort of mm, mellow by the beach, but not coconut beachy, but sandy beachy, Mediterranean beachy. Oh, it's just beautiful. I've been wearing this to the hospital all week and it's just really um, lovely. It's light. It makes me feel cool, like temperature-wise cool, and, you know, groovy, too, <laughs> of course. But I love it, and it's uh, hitting the spot right now. This is Azaro Shine. This is available on Fragrance Net. Uh, I happened to pick this up, I think, at Ross last summer, and I didn't wear them during the cold weather. They are absolutely a warm weather perfume. The other one from Azaro is C, and this is a blue juice, as you can see. Wow, and this is almost a beachy menthol. It's very, very salty. Very, um, uh, what do I want to say? There's a, there's, I guess, a not exactly medicinal, but it's been compared to some of Terry Mugler's, um, like Cologne, some of his uh, offerings for men. It's got that sort of almost antiseptic, but not quite saltiness, aquaticness. Um, the blue speaks to that. It's beautiful. It's slightly drier than Shine, the one I just showed you. Uh, but I've been wearing this this week too to the hospital and it's like um, it doesn't really smell like you have perfume on but it's just this fresh cloud <clears throat> it's been gorgeous very not sweet at all nothing sweet in that okay next is a perfume that I've had for a long time I think this might be my second bottle of this this is Alfred Sung She and oh my god, I do love this. Um, it's got citrus and freesia. I'm a big freesia fan. So um, this one is very dry, but just slightly more floral. I love to wear this when I'm wearing white. There's something just speaks to white about this perfume. And honestly, it is gorgeous. Mm. That's Alfred Sung. She. It's been around for a long time. You can find it at discounters. It's worth having because it bridges that gap between florals that are sweet and florals that are not. This has a touch of sweetness, just enough to make it interesting, but it's very much a crisp white shirt perfume. Yum. I love that. Okay, let's see next. This is very new to my collection. I've been venturing into uh, perfumes that are marketed for men a little bit, especially during this I gotta have drier stuff phase. Um, this is from Salvatore Ferragamo. I just barely picked this up. It's called Aqua Essential, Essential? I'm not sure how you say that. But it's really nice because it has a pop of mint in the top notes. I happen to love mint. Also has some aquatic 
notes and of course a little bit of fruity notes but mostly it's minty and herbal and just gorgeous. I happen to have a little bit on my hand. I wanted to just remind myself how it smells. This is fairly new to me, but it bridges a lot of different things. It's, it's minty and herbal. It's bright and citrus. I don't find it very masculine at all. I mean, it's certainly, no, no, wait, 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 rewind. I think it's perfectly masculine, perfectly feminine. <laughs> it's really a nice unisex scent. I'm looking forward to wearing that a lot in the very near future. This is Aqua Essential. No, yes. Essential, Essential <laughs> by um, Salvatore Ferragamo. Yum. The next perfume I have talked about, raved about, brought out on my list a few times, and this is Pearls de Lalique by Lalique. Oh, you guys, you guys. I wore this this morning while I was out trolling around shopping for perfume and playing with perfume. Ugh, it was perfect today. Um, it's about 90 degrees today. Oh God, this is the antiseptic patchouli. That's the best way I can describe it. There's a touch of sweetness, but only because the patchouli is dry and gives off um, just a bit of sweet because it's not a green and fresh and wet patchouli. It's dry. And then it has a medicinal eucalyptus pop to it that it, it's so amazing. I, it, it's, I just love it. I love every second of it. This is Pearls de Lalique by Lalique. Perfect in hot weather. It's cool. It's Vicks Vaporub. It's awesome. You gotta try it. Okay, I've got two more. Um, I think my next one is going to be Plush Leather by Abusan. I featured this a few videos ago. It's very inexpensive. It is a clone for Aventus, um, and I think it's, I like it better than Aventus because it is more citrus, it's brighter than Aventus. It, it holds the brightness longer. I don't own Aventus, but I have tried it on and, and let it dry down and worn it. And I just really love this. Uh, it's happier <laughs> than Aventus. Um, it is marketed for men, I'm sure, but it's really nice on me. And um, any woman could wear this. You have to be in the mood for it. And fortunately, I am right now because I'm in a less sweet perfume mood. This is not sweet. It is citrus and it is bright, but not necessarily sweet. It's also very green, herbal as it dries down. Really beautiful. I wear this to bed sometimes and it's very nice. This is plush leather. You can pick it up at TJ Maxx, sometimes Burlington. Um, it's well worth it. I'm really enjoying that. Yes. Okay, the last perfume that I'm wearing, I wore it just the other day and was in love with it. This is part of my top 10 forever, uh, top 10 for life, my always top 10. It was my number one last time I did my list, which is subject to change, you never know. This is um, Sir Lanil by Hermes, and it is so beautiful. Oh my God grapefruit and bamboo and um, some floral. It's got rose in the heart note. Ah, oh, and then the woods uh, in the base. It's just gorgeous. It is not sweet. It's very, and it's not bright. It's kind of aquatic and green and rose and um, just gorgeous. It's gorgeous anywhere, anytime, any season, particularly right now in my non-sweet phase. Sir Lanil is just hitting the spot. I actually wore it yesterday to the hospital and was just like, ah, oh. you know, sometimes when you're just smelling yourself all day <laughs> and it's such, there's something about aroma that is such a nice break during the day. So Sir Lanil by Hermes. 
it's perfect to satisfy that non-sweet tooth. Is this happening to anyone else where sweet perfumes are just not cutting it for you in hot weather? If so, let me know. What are you wearing? What's working? What's not working? What have you replaced with what? I really want to know. Take great care of yourselves. I will see you again real soon. And in the meantime, smell fantastic. Bye.